Hey, how's it going? It's Tuesday afternoon. It's a beautiful day outside. I uh, just wanted to get on here and see if anybody wanted to read God's word with me, to pray with me. Try to be quick today. Heavenly Father, I just come to you now with my friend, just grateful for you, Lord. Just stopping what we're doing, just to honor you, Lord. Just to block everything else out and look at our Savior, our Lord and Savior. We love you so much, Lord. We need you. We look to you for strength, God. For apart from you, we can do nothing. You're the vine and we're the branches. Whatever good deeds we try to do on our own, Lord, they're like dirty rags, polluted garments. They're pointless for, for eternity. We store our treasures up in heaven with you. We spend our time on things of the kingdom, Lord. Bringing people to you is the mission, God. Help us to do that, Lord. Work through us. Uh, allow us to use the gifts that you've given us, Lord, in order to reach the lost, to bring them into the marvelous light, Lord. We pray that Satan would remove the blinders off of our loved ones, the ones that are living in darkness, Lord, and let them see like Paul seen. Like Paul seen, it was so bright he couldn't even see. He fell to the ground. Um, yeah, Lord, just use us, Lord, for your glory, Lord, for your kingdom, to advance your kingdom. Thy will be done, Lord, in Jesus' name. Speak to us, Lord, as we read your word. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, friend, for joining me. I was looking for someone to read the word with, like I said. Um, yeah, I've, been, I've had a little heaviness here lately. I, I put a post on, on Facebook, and it was... Uh, I don't know. It seemed like it kind of, kind of wasn't uh, very peaceful, like I, like I like it to be. And and uh, this morning I woke up and I was kind of worried about. It. I was like, do I need to? What do I do with this? Like I need to like delete this post or, or what? And the Lord just told me. He just told me uh, that that Philippians four, uh, seven. I think it is. You know, don't worry about anything. Just pray about everything in the God of. A peace will be with you, and uh, and I went back to sleep, and I woke up, and and uh, I was I was feeling feeling okay about it again, but but um, but yeah, I was I was talking to my girlfriend about it, like how yeah, I didn't want to I didn't want to hurt anyone's uh, feelings or anything, and and uh, and I was telling her there was one part that the Lord really 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 pointed out to me when I was making the post and I was some guy had said something uh, kind of in opposition to what I was saying on my post and and uh, so I, w I was talking about um, a message about how there's you know it's good that there are factions and divi or divisions or heresies in, 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 in the church so that we may uh, know the truth and um but anyways, um, so I was talking, I wanted to add into my post, like when we, when we correct somebody that we should, uh, do that in private. And I, and I, and I, and I put the scriptures on there, you know, and as I was doing it, the Lord just kind of, kind of stopped me, you know, and he wanted me to really think about what I was, what I was writing. And I was like, and I was thinking to myself, am I, am I doing the same thing that I'm trying to tell him? This guy that was correcting me on my page, was I doing the same thing? Was I being a hypocrite? And I, you know, and I thought about it for a long time. And I really, I really was praying about it and try to do, do the right thing. But I don't think I ended up doing the right thing. I ended up, uh, you know, making the excuse that, that this guy had already brought it out into public. You know, so I was just re giving him my public response, but but uh, but in the morning, I realized that that was exactly just that. That was just an excuse. That was just me uh, firing back uh, at him on my post. So so I do want to um, confess that sin, you know, and, and and repent of that sin, and and um, just just. Just let everyone know if they if they did see that that, that I that I realized that that was wrong. I I shouldn't have done that. So, um, but um, yeah, I was telling telling my my girlfriend about that this morning, and and, uh, and I said, "What do you think about it?" And she started saying the exact same thing before I even told her. She was like, "Yeah, it sounds like you pretty much just did what you told him not to." And I was like, "Oh man." That's when it dawned on me and the Lord gave me the word. Um, 
you, you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you and do not refuse to one who, who would borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, you shall love, the, the, uh, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven. For he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do you not even, do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you, and if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. That's Matthew 5, uh, 38 through 48. So yeah, it's, uh, these are those times, you know, um, it's, a, it's a time to shine. It's a time to pick up our cross and, and show Jesus. It's easy, you know, anybody gets along, you know, drug addicts get along great, you know, and when, every, when everything's uh, going good, you know, but, but, um, but yeah, the true test is when, when someone does you wrong, when you don't feel like you deserve it, when they started it, all those things, that's when we want to say, okay, well, I didn't start it. Well, I can go. That's kind of what, what, what my excuse was. But, uh, but yeah, Jesus wants us to follow his example. We look at him on the, on the cross, you know, a perfect example. You know, his, his, he came, he came to, to, he was murdered by the same people that he came to save. There is no, there is no harder thing than that, than to do what he did. You know, though he was equal to God, he humbled himself. He came down here and did his ministry as a servant, you know, and then just died without saying a word like a lamb all uh, led to the slaughter. I like right as he starts out the Sermon on the Mount, the greatest sermon of all time right here. This is how he starts out. Blessed are the meek. This ain't the very start, but a couple of sentences down. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. That's those people, you know, those people we're showing mercy. When they say something to us, that's our chance to do all these things, to show mercy, to be a peacemaker. Um, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Matthew 5, uh, 5 through 12. So, so we can retaliate, we can get back at them with our little words and things, but, but, but it's best if we, if we hold back and go ahead and get our reward uh, for, from heaven, you know, for, for doing that, for doing those things. Blessed are all, the, all those things. You know, again, we look to Jesus. We look to what he did. We imitate Jesus. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the, of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. We imitate Jesus. Look what he did. Look at the hostility that he took on. Look at the shame. Look at look at what he had to deal with. He carried that cross and people were cussing and mocking him. Not once did he stop and say, do you know who I am? I'm God. You just wait and see what happened. He didn't say anything. He just took a beating. He took the insults. He took it all and he's expecting us to do the same thing. For the joy that's awaiting him. For the joy that's awaiting us. It's incredible. We don't want, we want, we want to, we want to be slow to speak and quick to listen to the Lord, to the Holy Spirit before we react, before we do anything. We just wait and see how the Lord wants us to respond. We don't want to act in emotion uh, when these things happen. Endurance, an endurance race. It says it's like an endurance race. 
endurance race, like a long run, you know, that, that's painful. We just keep going. You know, your muscles are hurting. You can hardly breathe. You just want to lay down and take a rest. That's what it's like when we're going through this world. People are being rude and they're doing things. But, but the Lord says you will reap if you faint not. Keep going. Don't, don't do. Don't give up on well doing. Don't give up on imitating me. Be like me. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Proverbs 16, 7. And then uh, I got this wonderful word from the Lord. My girlfriend gave it to me. This is beautiful right here. Um, this is in uh, Isaiah 40, 45, 1 through 3. He's talking about the King Cyrus. This is what the Lord says to Cyrus, his anointed one, whose right hand he will empower. Before him, mighty kings will be paralyzed with fear. Their forces' gates will be open, never to shut again. This is what the Lord says, I will go before you. He says, I will go before you, Cyrus, and level the mountains. I will smash down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. And I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. I will do this so that you will know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, the one who calls you by name. So beautiful. I love my girlfriend now. She has all these good, good ones. And the Lord's always giving a word out of the Old Testament. And, and it's, uh, it's beautiful. But yeah, it's the Lord. We don't have, we don't have to do anything. It's the Lord that goes before us. That smashes, that smashes down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron to give us secret riches in the darkness. How beautiful is that? He's saying he's giving us the same thing. That's us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you go before us with you for us who could be against us. Help us to help us to, to love our enemies, Lord, to do good to those who treat us wrong or unfairly. Help us to forgive the way that you forgive us, Lord. Help us to love the way that you love us. And we just, uh, yeah, that's it. Just thank you, Jesus. We just want to imitate you. Thank you for the example that you set for us when you carried that cross up on that hill and you let them nail you to that to that tree, Lord. And, and uh, we are just so grateful, God. We stand here in just, in just awe of you, Lord, and your love for us. So thank you, Lord. Let us our, Let our lives be a... Uh, a living sacrifice for you now, our reasonable service, just to, just to go out there and get the laws, just to, just to worship you and be obedient to you and just to be your, your servants, your children, your friends. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, and Lord, just bless my friend right here. Just, I just pray that you just use them in a, in a mighty, magnificent way for your kingdom. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.